A string of arsons in Windsor has struck the community with fear. Uh, every time I see fire truck or ambulance, it's kind, of, uh, it's kind of scary for me, you know. Tina, who did not want to give her last name, has lived in the 800 block of Lewis Avenue for 40 years, the same area where one of two garage fires set ablaze Halloween morning. A week prior, three fires were set within 90 minutes of each other. Two mattresses and a chair were lit up all between Gladstone and Marion Avenue. Constable Drew Lard with the Windsor Police says those three arsons are related. Fires can be scary for people. Like I said from the beginning, like if it's even a nuisance fire, it can develop into something more serious. And when you have a string of them like this, hap like this happened, it gets people a little bit more uh, nervous. Mm -hmm. Windsor Fire is urging Windsorites to remove any debris around their homes and garages. For whatever reason people feel the need to uh, ignite those combustibles against the buildings, they can be easily prevented by not storing those combustibles against the building. Although numbers are down this year by 3%, the recent spike has alarmed Police Chief Al Frederick to enforce case-specific manpower within the arson unit to investigate these fires. Well, we're, we're taking a real watchful eye over forensic evidence that may be left behind at the scene. Chief Frederick says they are following leads, but no suspects have been identified. Anyone with information pertaining to the arsons are encouraged to call Windsor Police or Crime Stoppers. Mandy Matthews, Mediaplex, News Now.